When most people think of a Jeep, the Wrangler is no doubt what they're thinking of. Rough and ready, with an underpowered six-cylinder engine that's unrefined and harsh. Hold on, that's so 2011. Back in the day, and that day would be 1941, this Willys Jeep came with a four-cylinder engine that had 60 horsepower. Today, for 2012, here's a new Wrangler. It has 285 horsepower, which is a lot more, and it's zero to 60 times three seconds faster. Let's take it for a ride and see how it does. The chassis is definitely capable of handling uh, the additional power and torque and uh, was definitely longing for that additional power and torque. More horsepower, more torque, and even better fuel economy. And best of all, the new Pentastar now comes mated with a 5-speed automatic, or get this, a 6-speed manual. Combine that with the 2011's new interior, and you've almost got yourself a civilized Wrangler. Almost. To be honest, driving the new 2012 Wrangler on the road, especially in these twisties, is a little bit like taking an elephant on the expressway. Of course, the elephant will go on the expressway, but you can't help but feel that it would be happier rampaging through the uh, countryside. So in case you're curious, right there, they call that the oh sh you know what bar. And according to Jeep, that's been the oh you know what bar since 1941. To make the Jeep more livable, Chrysler engineers took the Wrangler home and actually, well, lived with it. So that goes back to uh, some of these little thoughtful details. Yeah. Um, and that was actually just getting in there using the vehicle. We noticed, you know what, there's really not a good spot to, uh, to put all the stuff when you take the hardware down. So what we've done, and, and even these here, these are uh, being used right now. So you basically have a nice little spot, it's clearly marked. Now the biggest difference between the 2011 Mojave, which is behind me, and the 2012 is obviously the new Pentastar engine. And the best way to tell the difference in the engines is to have a bit of a drag race. So my friend Frank here, hi Frank. Hi, <laughs> how are you? It's gonna help me out and we're gonna take both cars. Frank's gonna go ahead of me and he's gonna floor it in the 2012 and I'm gonna try to keep up in the 2011 and let's see how much distance Frank gets on me. Okay, here we go. He's gonna give us a start and then we're gonna drag. As you can tell, Frank got a good ways ahead of me. Yeah, there's a big difference. Jeep will tell you that the difference 80 horsepower makes is about 3 seconds. This Mojave, 0 to 60, in about 11.4. The new 2012, 8.4. Quite a difference, as you can tell. And to keep it fun, Jeep even hid some Easter eggs in the new Wrangler. Here's one, see if you can find the other two. Um, you look real close, right? That's a little, little, little JK Wrangler climbing up the side. So, you already know this, but the new Jeep Wrangler is certainly an off-road capable car. But what's really surprising, now that it's got the bigger engine, is just how smooth of a commuter it is. With 285 horsepower, It'll take you to work every day, and it'll take you through the roughest stuff you can think of. This is Roman Micah reporting for TFLcar.com. The other two Easter eggs? Keep watching. First one is uh, seven slot route headlamps um, right up in front and center. What's kind of cool about that is you get some sunlight coming down. It actually shines in the interior. Yeah. And then the, uh, the third and third and one, the one that's a little bit more prominent, um, is, is something not being bashful about uh, really where the, the Wrangler's coming from and 1941. since 1941.